hello there everyone i trust that you are doing wonderful wow <laughs> if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is lydia Esinam. i am a customer service enthusiast if i'm not talking customer service or experience or success i am sharing with you things that i'm passionate about like traveling seeing places food you know all the amazing things <laughs> for some of you who may already know you'd be wondering why i am now sharing a dubai video well the truth is i am not in dubai but i was in dubai like a year ago and uh, i actually realized that i had some videos that i had not shared with you all so why not i just reproduce these videos and share with you <laughs> In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how we used the monorail, which is a self-driven train, to go view the Atlantis. That's the Palm Atlantis. <laughs> so we are here at the train station and uh, we are waiting for the train to come pick us. But before that, people are taking pictures at the shop here. And you have to actually buy something before you can, you know, <laughs> take a picture in the shop. We said we are going on the palm jumeirah exactly in the shape of a date palm tree. So you need to keep in mind how does the date palm tree look. Look at this one. This is the trunk and this is the branches. Total 16 branches of the tree. Okay. This white thing, whatever white thing you are looking over here, it's all the sea water in between is all sea water this is the land our bus came like this on the Jumeirah road after the beach we parked over here we walked and we came up to the station so this is right now we are over here on the third floor of the moral station we're going to go one floor up on the platform and the train is going to start right over here from like this between between so once we are once we start riding on the train everyone look on your left hand side if you look on your left hand side you'll be able to see the entire dubai marina you did how cruise yesterday yeah dinner cruise so you yes. saw tall buildings so the entire tall buildings over here so during the daytime you can click photos now over here and then as we continue our train journey you'll be able to see only shoreline apartments now this palm jumeirah is one of the richest place to live in real estate property wise and this is a freehold, which means people can purchase property. Outside, people can purchase property. The old Dubai part is completely leasehold. No purchase, only rental. But this is freehold. Okay. So once we go on the branches section, you'll see branches, like the branches of the tree. We call the branches as fronds. Okay. Each prong, each branch will have a series of villas. Here, 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 like this. And each villa, in the front or in the back, they will have their own private beach. Mm. You know, own private beach. Mm. So villas. So if suppose if they have some water sport activity like the jet ski, small boats, fishing boats, yachts, and everything, they can park right in front of the villa. It's like entering the door and you go in the water mm -hmm. like that. And this is the place where all the billionaires and the billionaires they stay. The celebrities, Bollywood, Hollywood. You have. <laughs> then we have international sports personalities. African politicians. Yeah. <laughs> She's right, lot of politicians. Yeah. Yeah. All the we shouldn't be talking loud like this. Yeah. All the money is here. Yeah. You know, all the money is here. You know? But they do it in different names, you know, because they need to declare the assets. That is it. So this is the billionaires club. What is stay, stay over here? And as we go, now you'll be wondering what is this circle? Okay, so if you see this is like the curve, like the crescent of the moon, you know, crescent of the moon. So we call this as a crescent. This is actually a wall to protect the island. Okay. To protect this tree-shaped island against what? Against the big waves. Suppose if tsunami comes in the in the sea, this complete island will be washed away. You know tsunami, how dangerous mm -hmm. tsunami is. Mm -hmm. So they have made a big wall. It's a very big it's wall. It's very tall. It's so big that from here, from this end to this end, they have more than 20 five-star hotels. 20 five-star hotels on this wall. So these five-star hotels themselves act, act like a protection, like a wall, you know? And once we go here, this wall water, there's a bridge, the monorail. 
here is Atlantis. Atlantis is the bomb, one of the best resorts of this island. So once we are reaching the last station on the left hand side, we will build the back side of Atlantis. Make sure you click photos. Once we reach there, we get down from the monorail station, we go down, the bus will be waiting for us in the parking. Oh, okay. And how we are going to come back here? It's on water. The monorail is going on the bridge, but there is no roadways. So they have made one more tunnel which goes under the sea. Okay. Under the sea water. Again an underwater tunnel we go and then we come back on this main island. And then we again slowly slowly exit like this. Okay, Where so do some have red? The numbers, some have, uh, have red shades. What's the meaning? Over here? Actually, these are significant. Red, red, red. red. Is this a significant? Yeah, this is, these are like the under construction. Uh, upcoming, okay. They are the, the you can say the five star hotels. There, there are more than 20 five star hotels over here, and this also has the five star hotels, but they are still not opened yet. The building is but not opened yet. That's the reason. Okay. Are these the hotels there? Yeah, these the are the brands of the hotels. You can see the various brands. More than 20 hotels. The best of the best hotels, five star hotels, we have over here. This construction of the island started in the year 2001 and completed 2007. In six years, the complete entire island was ready. In six years, you know, everything was ready. Sometimes they had that. The hotels came up gradually, but the construction, the main land, was set up in six years completely. And slowly the building started, the villas and everything. You know, so it was very difficult to build such an island in the middle of the sea. But they did the job pretty fast, you know. Sheikh Mohammed is very strict with the time. If you do not complete, the contract is gone. basic difference between the um, transport systems of the monorail and then the um, train system so this is just the view of the um, Atlantis you know after all the education that our tour guide gave us at the real um, station this is the actual view of what we were seeing in the miniatures that he shared and um, it's, it's just wonderful
I must say that for the record, my camera lenses are not making justice to the views, honestly. And another thing is, is how um, intentional Dubai has been in the development of their cities and, you know, their infrastructure. I mean, look at the monorail going all the way to the island and this is an elevated transport system and that for me is incredible in terms of the development of the country. This is the view we have all been waiting for. Just look at this. Just look at this. Goodness, my camera is not making justice to the views, but the view here is breathtaking. I mean, the Palm Atlantis is a luxury hotel resort located at the apex of the Palm Jumeirah in the United Arab Emirates and is the first resort to be built on the island. So, like I said, I mean, Dubai has been so intentional about development and to know that there is a hotel resort on the island, that is everything. I just wish I, I would be here, you know, on the island sipping on some, you know, mojito or some, you know, mimosas. <laughs> this is what life should be about, you know, this is how life should be lived you know go on more vacations and all that but hey i just love the view the greens the architecture and you know all the i'm lost for words but i just love the views over here and that's a water park right there <laughs> Wow.